Welcome to another Smart Retail introduction video. Today we'll talk about stock adjustments. We'll review the item quantity on hand and where you can see the adjustments. We'll add to stock adjustments manually and we'll also use GM Mobile to add to the adjustments. So first up, we'll just look for our product in item maintenance. If we open it up, we can see the quantity on hand displayed. We can also go to the adjustment tab and you can see all the past adjustments that have been performed for this product. So to create a new adjustment, we come into our menu and find stock adjustments. There it is. Here you can search for products that you need to adjust. So you can search using the barcode, the order code, or the description. So let's find our same product, Craft. Double click. And now we enter the details of the adjustment. Now, first up, we choose our reason code. Now, depending on your store, reason codes may be set up to do different things. But let's just find a reason code we can use. So damage, so we're taking things out of stock here. And as you can see, this reason code doesn't update average cost. This is subject to your configuration. Next, we choose the supplier. Then the impact, are we increasing or decreasing our stock on hand? So this is damage, so we're decreasing. We choose our quantity, so it shows our current quantity on hand, so we want to decrease by two. So our new quantity on hand, five minus two, becomes three. We hit save and that will post that adjustment and adjust the stock on hand. So if we double click on it again, we can also have a look at the history. So there's our last adjustment. And this is the same information that you'll see in the adjustment tab in item maintenance. You can also open up the item directly and that takes you straight back to that item that you had previously open. The other way to do a stock adjustment is to use GM Mobile. So if we open up GM Mobile and go F6, our adjustments application. The first thing it's going to ask us to do is choose a reason for our adjustment, just as we did previously. So let's go find a reason code to use. So not fit for sale. And you can see now we can scan our product or type in our order code. And again, you choose whether or not you want to increase or decrease. So we'll do decrease by nine. So at this point, you would just continue scanning products and choosing whether to increase or decrease. So if you do need to change the reason code, you can. You just press the F10 key to see the list of applications. And if you press F6 again, you get the option to choose a different reason code. Alternatively, you can just press F6 if you remember the application shortcut and then again choose a different reason code. 